are solving uh, kth smallest product of two sorted arrays so basically we are given two sorted array like this this is nums1 and this is nums2 so if we do the products uh, if we do the multiplication of each element into the other element we would have like if this is a three size and this is also three size so three into three different products we can get so for example if we do the product of all of them how does it look like so it would be like if we do the multiplication so three into minus two it would go to six right now three into we can do multiplication with this guy so three into one so this will give minus three somewhere let's say put it here i want to keep it in the sorted then my this minus three into three this will give me minus nine so let me put it here minus nine i want to keep the things sorted now we will start with the zero so zero multiplication with all of them would be directly give zero 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 right so this will uh, something like we can put it here comma uh, zero and zero and zero whatever is the length of secondary nums to that many zeros we will immediately get here right then we are coming to here two so two into minus two it would give you give us minus four so let's write it minus four here then we have two into one so it will give us two so let me put it here somewhere here then we have uh, two into three so this will give us six right so now what we can say that we have got this this is this would be our kind of a sorted thing so let me now if somebody is asking you find the fourth highest uh, product here i mean fourth smallest product right so this is we are starting from one as per given in the question uh, you can see here uh, one waste right so we have to start from one in this that case so let's say if somebody is asking you what is the fourth smallest product right so we will go here that this is one two three and four so four it's, it's zero so we can return zero similarly if somebody is asking you find the uh, uh, eighth highest eighth smallest product then what we will do is this is one two three four five six seven eight so six would be the answer because this is the eighth smallest product so this is what we have to do okay i have taken this kind of example because i want to keep you engaged with the different scenarios when we would be writing the code okay so uh, let's understand how to do that so first of all for any product right in nums1 and nums2 you can see here the ranges are given in the question if we look at the ranges go down go down and see here for the lengths are up to 5 into 10 to the power 4 and similarly any number can go from minus 10 to the power 5 till 10 to the power positive 5 right that means product also can go in the similar way right so if we talk about the product uh, for all the values the smallest value might be uh, for the product the smallest value might go from minus 1 into 10 to the power 10 right because we are doing for the product sum okay so this might go up to minus 1 into 10 to the power 10 similarly max can go in uh, equal to uh, 1 into 10 to the power 10 right this could be the uh, uh, product sum right so you might be have question that why this is uh, uh, in the question it is giving minus 5 but we are going for production right so if we let's say if i am multiply 10 to the power 5 with the positive 10 to the power 5 then this will make smallest 1 into 10 to the power 10 in negative right so that is why we are taking so this would be our range of the products right this could be the smallest and this could be the biggest smallest and biggest this would be basically the range of our products and the product could be uh, any value between these in general as per given in the question now next thing is we are given a k value right so k th smallest we have to find okay so one thing is one simple approach comes into our mind is like we can do the multiplication the way which we did here and then we can easily find it in a sorted array that this would be the k th smallest one but actually uh, there would be overflow and also this uh, method would not be the efficient one so we have to look for an alternate way then what is that alternate way so you guys can observe one pattern here that uh, these these guys nums1 and nums2 are already sorted no problem and this comes to this mult right so as we have just discussed that uh, uh, there would be some minimum value of the product and there would be some max value of the product so this would be our range right so what we can do here is with the help of this min and max we can go in a binary search paradigm i'm not saying directly binary search but binary search paradigm so we know that this would be smallest well and this would be our max well 
then we can find the mid okay so remember these are the product not the index of any number mid max and mid and max okay so if i go for a mid okay so if i go for a mid we can get the uh, uh, this min plus max right min plus max divided by 2 right so if we do min plus max of the product divided by 2 this will give us the mid value now what i mean to say this mid value is like, like any product right this will give the any product value not necessarily what we are finding right so if we find this mid out of our initial range of minimum and maximum we can start this mid to search in this mult product right this is the product uh, array that we got right so if we do this mid we can find that hey somewhere if we found this mid that how many smaller multiplications are there let's say this mid somehow comes equal to uh, suppose uh, this mid comes uh, let's say minus 3 right then we would start searching here then we will find that hey there are at least two such uh, variable two such products which are smaller than this guy right so in that case we can say that uh, if there are two smaller than this then this guy would be the third smallest value right so in this paradigm we want to search it that first we will get all the possibility of the mid i mean all the possibilities of the uh, product that might be possible in this range and whoever has the frequency equal to k k in the sense left side if there are k minus one elements that means that mid itself would be our uh, answer which might lead to our uh, solution right so for example let's say wh while we are doing this min and max like we do in the uh, uh, binary search paradigm you can consider this is our left value min is left right and this is our right value so left plus right by 2 we do right so in this way we will keep on calculating mid for example at some time we are getting mid equal to minus 3 right and let's say if our k was given as 3 right our k was given in that 3 then there would be a chance then when we were we are reaching at here we will find that two guys are already there on the left side so if we find a smaller equal to or a smaller value uh, on the left side including this guy we are finding k right so if let's say k was given 3 then this minus 3 would be our answer right so in that paradigm the reverse paradigm we want to solve this problem okay so this is the one thing that we are uh, proposing the binary search paradigm here but now how to do that okay so we will take one example and then we would be doing this okay that is why we have i have taken this good example instead of going for some simple one so uh, we would be starting it so guys what i'm doing here is like i am writing one count total method which will take nums one uh, array and nums two array and the target so this target would be the product uh, uh, I mean the let's say we have this product values are starting from very min means minus 1 into 10 to the power 5 and maximum would be uh, 10 to the power 8 and uh, uh, plus uh, 1 into 10 to the power 8 this would be the minimum and maximum possible product right so we are starting with left equal to min and r equal to max then we will ha have the mid so remember these are not index these are the amounted okay so for this mid would be we can call it target so this would be the product now what we are doing with this method this method is basically uh, finding that how many uh, uh, elements how many products are there which are smaller than this target for example let's say if this minus 3 is there as target then it should return 3 right because including minus 3 this is giving us 3 products so this would be we will keep on checking that if somehow we are able to get this k if this returns k that means that product would be our answer right so uh, this is what this method is doing now how we are doing it you can understand here that when we are starting from this nums1 we are basically multiplying everything with the nums2 right so when we first multiplied minus 3 into minus 2 we got 6 right similar way we are getting the values now whatever product we are doing let's say with minus 3 we are keep on doing uh, production with these all values of this nums 2 and same for everyone at that time what we will do is we will check that whatever product we have done hey is this product is, is smaller than target or greater than target let's say if it is a smaller than target then we want we will keep on going to the right side in case of this value is negative uh, positive 
because if we have minus uh, if let's say this was plus 3 then as soon as we will go from left to right we will get the larger value right and if this value is negative like in this case this is negative then left or side would be finding the negative values and then only it would become larger so let me show you my code here for this method see here we are writing this total uh, count product method right so first of all i have put the count equal to zero now see here we are traversing through every element of nums one so in case of nums one is zero okay in that case what we will do is if target itself is greater than zero that means somewhere on the right side we will find so see here what i am doing as soon as you can visualize as soon as let's say when we, we reach till zero we directly get all the value zero three times zero if nums two was five then five size then five times zero so zero is directly adding that many zeros whatever the size of this guy right so that is why what we are doing here is whenever this nums one is zero and target is also greater than or equal to zero then count we are directly adding the length of nums two because that many zeros would be anyway coming right because we are finding the uh, kth uh, product right kth product we are finding so that is why when it is greater than or equal to zero count directly increasing just like when we starting here this zero we directly got these many uh, three three which is length of this guy if it is five then five five times zero so that is why first of all we are checking in case of zero and if target is greater than or equal to zero then we are directly increasing this count by the length of nums two and we are keep on continuing okay otherwise if that is not the case then we are going here we are getting low equal to zero and high equal to nums dot nums two dot length because we are we don't want to go in nums two one by one multiplication otherwise there is no benefit because this is a already sorted one so let's do in a binary uh, search paradigm here also right so in nums two also we will go for mid so that is why i have written here you can see uh, this low is zero and high is equal to the nums length nums two dot length so while low is less than high we are getting the mid of it and for this mid we are checking what is the product okay nums one whatever we are traversing through nums one so whatever is the nums one element and the whatever is the mid value that we got through this binary search mid value okay so we will look for the this product so if this product is smaller than the target okay so if this product is smaller than target that means we have to increase to the right side but see here one trick here is because the numbers could be negative as well as positive so you can observe here one thing if if the coming product is smaller than target then we have two possibility if our nums one if nums one element is greater than zero that means it's a positive value so if it is positive value we have to go to the right side of nums two to get the greater value but in the case this nums one is smaller i mean lesser than zero then that means it is negative and if it is negative in the nums two also we have to go to the left side because left side are the possibility where we can get the another negative number so that we will get a higher positive number so remember this is the trick if it is greater than zero that means we have to increase to the right side if it is lesser than zero we want to get the greater value that is why we have to look for the negative values in case if nums one is zero i mean nums one is negative okay so otherwise if if this product itself is greater than target that means we have to find a product which is smaller than target so again same fundamental that if nums one is greater than zero then we have to look for the smaller value so we are looking for the high equal to mid okay so we are decreasing the value otherwise if nums one is negative in that case we have to make low equal to mid plus one because we want to make now this uh, 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 product is smaller than target we are in the else part okay so for that reason we are doing this so this is only the tricky part and then when we are keep on doing this finally uh, we are coming out of it and see here when we are coming out of this if else loop now we are what we are doing here so count equal to if nums one was greater than zero okay if nums one was greater than zero we are uh, taking the value as low because in case of greater positive values uh, the low would be like uh, let's say uh, let's say low is here that means 
for positive values b are greater than these many uh, numbers right if let's say this is our loop okay but in case of this guy is negative that means uh, you can see here so if it is greater than zero that means low means that many uh, ranks we have lefted into the left side because it is greater than on the right side but if this was negative number in that case what would happen in case of negative number we are traversing through the all negative numbers which are residing at the low side that means it would be greater than the whatever is the length minus low because in that case it would be just vice versa if it is a negative okay because if number is a negative then negative side of the names two would give us the greater value so we will adding this count in that way and finally what will happen when we will come out of this loop we would be returning this count okay so let me execute my code yeah so let me try to submit it which i have already submitted so guys thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there and also one more suggestion before writing the code take your pen and paper do some dry run do some research over there then only it will make a better visualization of the problem thank you